Hi, you're watching Talk to City Hall, the program where Dayton's mayor and commissioners talk to you about important issues and opportunities in Dayton. I'm Brian Talby, and today I'm with Mayor Leitzel at Hangar 18, a new shop in downtown Dayton. Yes, we're here at uh, 114 North St. Clair Street. It's a uh, basically a streetwear type of uh, apparel store to appeal to uh, people who like to wear just fashion street clothing and uh, skateboard crowd. So uh, come on down, check it out, and, and uh, like what they have. It's one of about a dozen uh, shops and, and new restaurants that have opened up in the last year or so in the downtown area. Yeah, we're getting like this new revival of, of locally owned businesses wanting to come downtown and, and, and open up stores. We've got coffee shops, apparel shops. We have pop-up shops for people who want to take a chance on, on some of the locations. In fact, there are some pop-up shops right here on St. Clair Street. Some are in the Oregon District, and there's one on Lower Fifth Avenue on West Fifth. Uh, that's a, a, a nail boutique that are that are doing quite well. Another thing too, I mean, to attract entrepreneurs and give people a start. Uh, my wife and a friend have started uh, an outdoor market at Third and Webster on Saturdays between eight and three, so that anyone who wants to uh, take a chance on something and and aren't certain they can they can come there. I think for like twenty bucks they can get a stall and and take a chance on a business. And I'm hoping that that will a appeal to our immigrants and and our local entrepreneurs to um, to possibly grow a business so that they do well and they'll want to come up and open up a store like this. Mm -hmm. So we're creating opportunities for entrepreneurs here in Dayton. Well, we've seen a number of uh, cities across the country that seem to be thriving in their downtown retail districts because of the presence of locally owned businesses such as Asheville, North Carolina or Boise, mm -hmm. Idaho. The storefronts are filled with local businesses. What is the importance of keeping things local? Well, your money stays local if you're, if you're uh, creating local businesses. It's not going out of state to some corporation or whatever. So that's a good thing. But I think, I think the key is, you know, uh, is being a progressive, known as a being a progressive city. And we're doing some progressive things in terms of creating environments for entrepreneurs. We also passed that uh, domestic partner registry. So, and we're also an immigrant-friendly city. We, I mean, we've declared that to the world. Welcome Dayton, uh, an immigrant-friendly city. And if we want to be immigrant-friendly, we also have to be people-friendly uh, to all people uh, of all cultures. And I think we're moving in that direction, and that's getting us some attention and attracting uh, a young uh, professional crowd that wants to come here and live and uh, make a future. And, of course, the city has recently reached an agreement with the uh, Turkish community to turn over the Bomberger Center to that community for its own use as well as for community-wide use for things like English as second language classes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, that, I mean, you talk about a symbol, symbolism of, of being an immigrant-friendly uh, city. We have uh, over 350 families of Ahishka Turks that are Russian refugees here. And uh, when I first met them, they always wanted their own community center, and they, were, they, were, they had their own, a much smaller version of it, and they wanted to expand it and grow. And they had their eye on a city facility, and we were able to uh, cut a deal with them. And, and uh, I actually believe the country of Turkey was involved in, in helping them, them formulate that and provide them some money to get them started. So I think it's great, and uh, I think they're going to call it the, I believe they told me they're going to call it the, the Welcome Center. So uh, yeah, if you're watching this and you're outside of Dayton, check us out. Okay. And, of course, the uh, semi-annual Urban Nights event is Friday, May Absolutely. 11th. May 11th uh, coming up. It's, uh, if you want to see a vibrant downtown, come, come down here on Friday after 5, 5 till 10 o'clock. You're going to see thousands of people walking around. We've got loft apartments open for people who are interested in downtown living. We have all of our re retail establishments open. All of our restaurants are open. And it's not just downtown. We have things happening over in the Wright Dunbar neighborhood on West 3rd. We've got things happening at the Ark. Uh, Institute across the river. We've got things in the Oregon District, Front Street. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a great day to come to Dayton and uh, take a look at what we have to offer. And uh, I wish we could do this every Friday, okay. but it's, it's a great event and please come. Mm -hmm. If they happen to miss Urban Nights, our viewers can check out First Friday, which happens first Friday. First Friday of every month, right, 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 which is a small version of Urban Nights mm -hmm. in, in a couple of districts. But, uh, <clears throat> and we do it twice a year. So if you miss it in May, come in September. Right. Well, thanks, Mayor Leitzel, for joining me today. Well, thanks, Brian, for coming out. And thank you for watching Talk to City Hall.